हेलो व्यूअर्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल लाइक द वीडियो एंड शेयर इट थैंक सो दिस इज द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट केस अबाउट द गॉल ब्लडर मास फर्स्ट यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड द एनाटमी ऑफ द लीवर एंड द गॉल ब्लडर लीवर हैज बीन डिवाइडेड इनटू एट सेगमेंट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द कोनार्ड क्लासिफिकेशन फ्रॉम द पिक्चर यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंट सेगमेंट ऑफ द लीवर and they are called to the drainage of the liver left lobe and the right lobe segments now this picture show you the anatomy of the gall bladder and the segment of the liver that are attached with the gall bladder gall bladder is located under the right lobe of the liver and segment segment 4b and 5 of the liver liver so this picture show you the conard classification of the liver and every and every segment has its own drainage in the form of bile duct branch portal vein and hepatic artery an of a 60 year old female she came with the complaint of nausea vomiting jaundice and pain in the abdomen especially epigastrium and on ultrasound scan of the liver you can find the suspicious area in the gall bladder region this can be shown with the picture in the coming frames that show the liver and the gall bladder and the segment of the four and fifth of the liver that is occupying the gall bladder fossa with the tumor area this picture show you the clarity so you see the suspected area around the gall bladder the gall bladder is containing stones and it is producing the echogenic shadow and the surrounding area is of mixed echogenicity you can appreciate the echogenic shadow of the stones and the suspected area around the gall bladder we can appreciate the rest of the right lobe of the liver that appears to be normal this is the suspicious area that is quite large and portal vein and cvd appears to be normal on measurement this is the echogenic area of mixed echogenicity in the long existing stones when they gall bladder they create the chronic inflammation and then the metaplastic changes within the mucosa of the gall bladder that is columnar and then there is neoplastic changes and the cells penetrate into the muscularis mucosae and then into the liver very rapidly through the lymphatic the tumor of the gall bladder spread very rapidly within the liver so gall stones should be removed as soon as they are diagnosed on the ultrasound this is quite large area of the liver that is surrounding the gall bladder that show the mixed echogenicity and there is probability of the tumor within the liver the spread of the tumor from the gall bladder to the liver but there is uh, no clear cut chances of intrahepatic biliary dilatation on the scan with the powered up study there is no blood flow within the tumor area you can appreciate this is a very classical case of the long standing gall stone that resulted in the tumor formation within the gall bladder that spread very rapidly into the liver
Its treatment depend upon the staging of the tumor and in Pakistan or in subcontinent the diag prognosis is somehow poor but in western country the prognosis become good when there is embolization of the feeding artery and the debulking of the tumor with this technique and then resection of that particular area of the liver and survival is somehow better than the subcontinent in the western countries on the left side spleen and the kidney are best of normal so these are the real cases but they usually come in the common practice in the patient who have long standing gallstones polyps or chronic inflammatory disease within the gallbladder so you can appreciate the liver and the gallbladder again on right side patient is advised contrast ct abdomen to see or find out the staging of the tumor along with the biopsy that show the prognosis of the tumor thanks the channel like the video and share it on the social media thanks